is like a full electron experience here. Oh, oh wow, very juicy. It's amazing. Oh, mucho ron. <laughs> I'm like, I have dragon breath. It's just like wet and soft. What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the amazing street food of Puerto Rico. This past summer, I visited the island for five incredible days, visiting San Juan the capital and doing a bunch of day trips. La Isla de Encanto has some of the freshest and fattiest street foods in the Caribbean and they're delicious. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when all the new videos drop. Now let me tell you the top 10 Puerto Rican street foods you must try. First up is Alcapuria, a dish I found at Don de Olga Bar and Restaurant in the town of Piñones, as well as Kiosco Luquillo in the town of Luquillo. Alcapuria is a cylindrical deep fried fritter that is made with dough of mashed green plantains with savory meat filling. You can get them with beef, but since Puerto Rico is an island with access to some of the best seafood around, I chose one that contained blue crab. I could really taste the plantain and the crab, and the inside was soft like butter. So soft, so yummy. This is like a huge croqueta. Definitely taste the plantain in here. You can see the crab meat right there. Oh, it's delicious. Very country, and when you bite into it, the entire inside is just purely like butter. It's like super soft. It's amazing, but I can't eat this every day. Turn it into a ball. Before you leave Don de Olga in Piñones, don't forget to try the second street food on my list, bacalaito. Bacalaito is a thin, deep fried fritter that is made with codfish, flour, and baking powder. It's crispy and crunchy on the outside, dense and chewy in the middle, and packed with codfish flavor. The combination of big, juicy pieces of cod and spices like garlic, cilantro, and saison seasoning was outstanding. It's also pretty greasy, so be sure to kick back and have it with a nice cold beer and you're all set. Very greasy in here. Oh wow, very juicy. It's amazing. Here in Puerto Rico, there's a lot of food that's fried, but most of it has seafood because we're obviously on an island. This is so delicious. To find the next dish on my list, you need to head to El Rancho Original Restaurant and Los Pinos Restaurant along La Ruta de Lechon in the town of Guavate. Here you'll find the heavily roasted pork dish known as lechon. The whole pig is roasted over a fire for four hours until the skin gets crispy, but the meat stays moist. It's juicy and fatty and incredibly flavorful. And one of the best parts is the crispy skin, which is called cuerito. This dish is heaven for any pork lover. Oh man, it just fell apart. Oh. Man, it's so soft and juicy. So this is the skin in cuerito. Yeah, you're not doing it. No, but it's doing phenomenal. It's like it's phenomenal. I just love how soft it is, no? One of the sides you must get with your pork along La Ruta de Lechon is a blood sausage called morcilla. It's made by mixing rice with the blood from the roasted pig, adding spices, stuffing it all into pig intestines, separating the stuffed intestines into sausages, and finally cooking them. Don't let the ingredients or preparation deter you from trying this fantastic dish. The rice gives it a really nice texture and the spices mixed throughout are outstanding. Here we have the morcilla, and after seeing how they make it and try it in there, I gotta tell you, this is one of the best morcillas in the world. It's so soft, and the spices really give it a nice texture with the rice. It gives it like a full lechon experience here. Oh. Some spices on it? You can't do a video about amazing Puerto Rican food without including mofongo, which I ate at Los Barriles in Piñones, Vaca Brava in Old San Juan, and at Costa Mia in Las Croabas. It's made with mashed and fried green plantains and usually includes meats and vegetables in a sauce made from garlic, oil, and broth. 
One of the best I had was the seafood mofongo at Costa Mia, which contained lots of succulent shrimp and mussels in a spicy and flavorful sauce over starchy plantains. Talk about a fantastic seafood dish. Try to get this together. Oh my god. It's the best. It tastes very like banana plantain, but the yuga gives it a nice flavor. It also has garlic. Mmm, the sauce is a little spicy. Wow. Delicious. That's all I'm gonna think of. Up next is fiambrera, a traditional Puerto Rican bowl that can contain meat, chicken, corned beef, roba vieja, carne asada, chicharron, vegetables, or codfish, served on top of rice, beans, and tostones. This gem of a dish, which I found at a place called Algapuria Cuema at the Lote 23 Food Truck Center in San Juan, was originally working class food, and its name literally translates to everything mixed into a big plate. It was very filling and had an amazing combination of flavors and contrasting textures. In the town of Piñones, I stumbled upon a small hut called Ostiones Vivos Kiosco, which served one of my absolute favorites, ostras or oysters. The oysters here are caught by the owner every day and come straight from the warm waters surrounding Puerto Rico. They may be small, but their flavor was anything but, especially with a splash of lime. And at just $5 for six oysters, the oysters at this kiosco are perfect for any seafood enthusiast on a budget. They're smaller, and obviously they're like a warmer, uh, warmer water oyster. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. I'm all about oysters. Mm. That's the way you eat oysters, guys. You gotta fill it up with some lemon and slurp it. After so many fried foods in Puerto Rico, it was nice to lighten it up a bit with the eighth food on our list. Carucho or conch ceviche from Kiosco Luquillo in the town of Luquillo. This delicious and refreshing raw seafood dish is moist with a soft buttery texture almost like a scallop with a muscle like taste and was seasoned with a fantastic mix of spices. This was hands down my favorite dish I tried in Los Kioscos de Luquillo. I'm all about ceviche but I gotta throw some spice on it. Tiny bit of spice. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh it's so delicious and they put like a, it's just like wet and soft. This is the best thing we ate so far. All right, one more, one more bite. It's so good. Mm. Next up on our list is a drink called Pitorro, which might be hard to find if you don't know the right people. Pitorro is a moonshine style drink that people make in their homes and it's illegal to sell it. But luckily for me, I have a friend who let me try some. I had three flavors, coconut, tamarind and passion fruit, and coconut with almonds. The coconut was almost like a dessert wine and wasn't very strong. And the tamarind and passion fruit was delicious and a little stronger, but watch out for the coconut with almonds. That will knock you out. I'm like, I have dragon breath. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. The passion fruit seed. Mm, crunchy. Salud, salud, gracias. It's pretty amazing. So this is like a 40% alcohol, and he's saying that it hasn't really been fermented too long, so the longer it ferments, the stronger it gets. The last entry on this list is a much more widely known alcoholic drink called the Pina Colada, which I had at the Costa Mia restaurant in Las Croabas. It was served with a big mound of whipped cream on top and was bursting with tons of sweet, mouth-watering pineapple flavor. This amazing Pina Colada also contained a cherry, which enhanced the sweetness and lots and lots of rum. It was a cool and refreshing way to end a long day spent out in the sun. If you couldn't already tell by my sunburn. It's so cold. It's so hot outside. And Maria de Viaje is tired. Look at her. Yeah, it's very, very tired. Okay. Oh, mucho ron. I didn't know. Here. Team Puerto Rico. Proceed. Boricua. Morena. Dominicano. Colombiano. <laughs> Everything was so yummy, but for me the top three were the bacalaito, which was the size of my head, the lechon in guavate, and the pitorro, which is almost impossible to find unless you know someone. Next time you find yourself heading to the Isla de Encanto, definitely try some of these delicious Puerto Rican street foods and drinks. So guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel adventure. Peace. Thank you.